Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope from the 22nd of October to the 28th of October 2017 and this is for you coming from Aries. So let's start with the 22nd which is a Sunday. It doesn't do very well for you. There are planets that make you rebellious, that make you a difficult person to deal with. Let others take the lead. Don't want to impose restriction on people. Otherwise the day is going to become worse and worse for you. Because the evening and nightfall period planets are also not good. So the planets, the problems created in the earlier part of the day, morning, afternoon will get worse in the evening and nightfall period. Definitely don't be rebellious and definitely don't want to create problems in speech or action. Try to let others take the lead as I said. Evening nightfall session you are going to have disturbances from people. There are also planets there who want to weaken your relationship whether it's a marriage, whether it's a romance, whether it's a friendship in terms of colleagues. And so whoever you are with, you'll have to be very careful that a small thing said or done and the whole day is going to be spoiled. I'd rather you play safe and uh, try to be in the company that you know well so that you don't do something too drastically wrong. It's that kind of a bad day this Sunday. Lie low. Now, let's go to the 23rd Monday where very fast planets are seen in the morning-afternoon period. And these very fast planets, they bring about opportunities very quickly. You have to be on your toes. Communication, marketing skills, they come and go. And so if you are not ready for them, you miss the opportunity. So communicate as much as you can. Ask favours. They are not your best planets, but they bring opportunities. Now, there may be a miscommunication, there may be an argument in the morning-afternoon session, stay away from that because stress is also seen. So slow down, plan whatever you want to do, whether in your job, whether in business, whether if you are with whoever for socializing and go step by step. Don't let it all get up into a muddle. I like your evening and nightfall session very much and many good things can work out well for you. And so you have the opportunity of meeting people from abroad, people who come from another country, or you may be discussing travel, you may be discussing holidays. It's very nice. So by all means, be with the people you love, be with the people you do business with. Some good news is waiting to come, some solutions are waiting to come in the evening nightfall period. Your 24th, which is a Tuesday, starts very well for you. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't. It starts very poorly for you. The 24th Tuesday, a load of problems are waiting for you at your place of work, even before you leave home, when you drive, and then in your business. Whatever you do, be careful that the whole day has been positioned by planets to just cause problems and problems. At your place of job, bad news can come, so be cautious. Blame can also come. You've got to focus on what you are doing, otherwise deadlines or some other trouble is going to brew up and overpower you. In business, be careful. You are at risk all the time and you don't want to try your business luck in the times of, in the forms of business speculation. Play safe. Deal with the people you do business very carefully. The wrong word said, the wrong word done in the morning, afternoon, early evening period is in deep trouble. And then with your loved ones, your marriage, family people, your romance, you will also have to be very careful. Now the evening nightfall period, I'm sorry to say, gets worse. And so you have problems coming left, right, center during the whole 24 hours. Evening nightfall session, be careful. Your plans may be delayed. Your plans may be cancelled. And that brings anger. That brings depression. That brings disappointment. So double check everything you do throughout the whole day. Double check and double check. A mistake made, find out quickly. Something gone wrong in an email, find out quickly because the whole 24 hours are there to disrupt your activity. Some news from the past can come or something that happened in your family earlier. Some kind of depression is also seen there. Lie low. If you don't really have to go and socialize in the evening, I'd rather a nightfall, I'd rather you don't. Let's go to the 25th, which starts very well for you and is going to end very well for you. So you start very happily at home and you travel very nicely and at business or in the job related areas you get very good news. So concentrate and enhance, meaning make make these opportunities coming for you even better. Get the most out of it. And if you focus, you are going to get the most out of your job area or in your area of business. 
socialize, have lunch with the people who matter to you. If they are your loved ones, go join each other for lunch. So much planning of holidays and the planning of travel is also there. The talking about migration is also there. Evening and nightfall periods actually become better. And so everything you do in the morning, afternoon is moving to the evening and nightfall to be rewarding you. So if you made a, a date and if you're, if you're looking for romance, you're going to get some very good news. And whatever you do in the evening nightfall session, only one thing I ask for you, take the soft approach, which means use words which are soft, use words which are soft and a body language that's soft. And you'll have a wonderful evening and nightfall period. The 26 doesn't start well for you. Perhaps you don't feel well. These are slow nerves of planets make you blur and they make you worried and they make you a little bit uh, under pressure, like having some kind of depression or frustration. And so when planets move slow, you have to move slow. You can't be pushy. You can't want to do things fast. Otherwise, mistakes, miscommunication, miscalculation at your place of work or in business and all these negativities can happen very quickly, morning, afternoon and early evening period. The evening and nightfall period itself is good. It makes you popular, it makes you in demand, it makes you a person who can be a leader, so you will tend to have some leadership qualities shown, but don't show arrogance. Otherwise, this planet can over, go overboard. Okay? Now, this planet or the evening nightfall session can make you a person a bit of a perfectionist where you want the exact everything. Don't allow that to happen because the people you are going out with may be perfectionists themselves. That's how the clash will come. So be nice, be appreciative, be supportive and you'll have a wonderful evening and nightfall session and probably find solutions you couldn't find earlier in the day. Let's go to the 27th which is a Friday. And that starts very well for you and it's going to end pretty well as well. So plan the whole day. Do as much as you can job-wise, business-wise, pleasing your marriage or family people, pleasing your romance partner. And even for lunch, get together. You are in the lead. But only thing is this planet also makes you a bit aggressive and a bit demanding. So don't allow that to happen and you'll have a perfect morning, afternoon and even early evening period. The evening and nightfall period, many socializing planets, family planets, love planets and planets who just want to have, help you make friends. So go out and socialize, be with the people you love. And you will see a bonding takes place very nicely in the evening nightfall session with whoever you are. Let's go to the 28th, which is a Saturday. It starts brilliantly and is going to end very well. Only thing is, in the morning, afternoon, early evening period, don't want to be the commander. Don't want to say, I've got to, everything has to be done my way. Let others take the lead. Be supportive rather than wanting to take control. And you'll make the day better and better for yourself. There are planets there that want to give you the leadership role. But if there is some other plan made by your family members, your romance partner, your job people, your business people, let them have their say and you'll have a wonderful time. Evening and nightfall session, some business planets move in. So mix business and pleasure if you can and you will do also very well. Tendency to dominate throughout the whole day is seen. So don't dominate. Don't want to be pushy. Be flexible in the whatever others want you to do or say and you will have a wonderful 24 hours waiting for you on the 28th Saturday. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 .50 for a 90 minute Skype session with me. And that's based on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms and face reading you when I Skype with you and even using Kabbalistic Tarot if you want me to in the 90 minutes. I want to deal with your next five or six years in detail in all areas of your life. And that, as I said, will be based on your full date of birth and time of birth and palms, etc. And so go to Skype, go to Facebook, send me an email. Let's make a date. It's only for USD 50, 50 and you'll have 90 minutes and we'll talk about your next five or six years in detail. Until then, thank you and good luck.